Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing a flip through of my perpetual planner. So this is the clear vinyl A5 six ring planner from Cloth and Paper. I got this in the subscription box, but they are now on the website. Um, so I really love this. So this, I don't really consider it part of my planner system when I think of my planner stack because I don't use it on a daily basis. So this has all of those like additional inserts that I just use um, whenever honestly, whenever I, I just need them. So um, y'all will see what I mean in a little bit when I go through this, but um, I have this just to the side um, on my desk. And then whenever I need something in here, I'll open it up. Up front, I have the Kobe Bryant dashboard, which I absolutely love. We have an inbox and then I have um, the Girl Gang glass tab dividers in white from Cloth and Paper. I think everything in here is from Cloth and Paper. I think like 90% of the inserts in here are from the subscription box. Um, so this is kind of where I just like put everything that I don't keep in my main planning system. Um, so the first tab, I have the 2021 overview. Again, this came in one of the subscription boxes. I'm not sure what I'm using this for just yet, but I have it in here. Just in case, I think I might use it for blogging. And then the next tab is labeled socialite. And so I have the travel inserts from cloth and paper in here. And so I'm going to use these inserts to plan our honeymoon. And I'm really excited to do that. Um, so half of it is like to plan one trip. And then the other half is for inspiration. And I still just want to set that up on camera with you guys. I had these in my MM when I first bought it and I set them up. And so I'm just going to set them up again um, for the A5 size. So I'll definitely do that on camera with y'all. They just have this entire like section for travel aspirations. And so that's everything behind this tab. And then the next tab is the tab that I probably use the most. And if you watch my vlogs, you probably see me use it when I do home decor because this is my like home section. So some dashboards from cloth and paper and the subscription boxes. And then I have everything that I want to do so I love home decor as you can tell if you follow me on Instagram and even on here um I love sharing like home decor pieces and decorating and so for this section I have it so I have the wishlist tracker so everything that I want or have in that room and then I have like an idea or inspiration if I'm putting together a project so here's for my office um I'm going to take some photos and add photos of my office in here but if there are things that I want to add or I think I might want to add I'll just write them on here um, here's for the vanity. So again, if you watched my vanity organization blog, um, you saw me reference this in that video because, um, I use this to like map out what I was going to, um, do when it came to organizing everything. I wrote everything out that I wanted and checked them off once I got them. And then, um, I just took a photo of the final product on here. Um, this is the one that I'm currently working on. So this is for the coffee bar and kitchen. So I've had everything listed out that I wanted for our coffee bar. And so I'm slowly working down the list. I just have one more item for this current project, but I just have some inspiration on here, the items that I wanted slash purchased, um, and then like just some color schemes. But all of these like photos I got off Pinterest and just printed them out in my normal printer. But this is the current one that I'm working on. And then the living room um, is something also that we're going to work on as well, but that probably won't be until after we move whenever that happens. So um, I really want to move more towards a mid-century um, retro style. And so I just have the inspiration for um, like both rooms on here. We love our couch. We're going to keep our couch. And then um, I really like this coffee table. So that's on the wish list. And then I'm just looking at different pieces too. And then I'll add. So this is all project. So this is all like work in progress. None of these are like fully done except for like the vanity. But I just love having this section as like a creative outlet to figure out and plan how everything's going to look together. I like like piecing these together so I can see what they look like. Um, but yeah, we have the patio here. This was in my Erin Condren vision journal, but I just moved it here. Um, we probably need a new rug. So I just moved the items that I know we're going to keep in here and then I'm going to add a photo. But if there are things that we want to add to our patio, I'll put that in here. 
Um, I just want to kind of set one up per room. Um, but that's everything in here. So I really like this section. Again, this is the most used section since I've been working on organization and getting rid of stuff. So that's how I'm using this section and I love it. And then the next section is um, for collaborations for blogging. So this is just the project management inserts from cloth and paper. And then the next section is the five-year plan inserts from cloth and paper. So it's broken down into four different categories. So you have personal, um, professional finance, and then health and lifestyle. And then the last section is my capsule wardrobe. So again, another dashboard from the cloth and paper sub box. And then I just have these magazine inserts from the cloth and paper sub box, the capsule wardrobe, and I just haven't had the opportunity to do this. This is more, this is more fun planning for me. So it's not something that I have to do, but it's something that I like to sit down and just do. So um, one day I'm just gonna sit down and do this. Lately, I've just been focusing on the home stuff, but again, magazine dashboard, capsule wardrobe, and then I have, wish list back here as well. So this has my Christmas list. And then I also have, um, this was my Christmas list for um, others. And then this was the Christmas list of stuff that I wanted. Um, and then I just have like a wish list for our wedding, just to have it back here. Then I had a luxury wish list. I don't know where that went, but that was back here as well. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Then I just have a page lifter. I took a set of unused cloth and paper dividers and cut off the tabs and I just use that as page lifters. Um, now they have some on the website so you don't have to do that. But um, before that, I just did it because I wasn't using that set and I just wanted them. But that is everything in here. And so I really love this planner. I really think it's, it's a fun planner. Again, I don't use it every day. I just use it whenever I need something in here. Um, like if I'm working on a collaboration, if I'm you know, working on our home decor, um, or if I'm just see something that I like and I want to add a photo or want to add it to the wish list, different things like that. So that is um, this setup and that is this planner. So other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.